Hello Rock Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to another Outer Worlds Guide. Today I'm going to be taking you through every rare weapon, unique weapon, you can find on the First World Edgewater region. We're going to be explaining how to get hold of Shotgun, the Peacekeeper. I'm going to show you how to get all reliable, the LMG. I'm also going to show you some cool shock sticks, as well as Blad on a Stick, Maxwell, all three of them being melee weapons, and finally, how to get a special revolver called Fiverr. So if you're new to Outer Worlds, maybe you missed out on these guns and you just want to give them a try, stay locked, let's go. So as soon as you get into Edgewater, find your way to the Sheriff's Office and if you've got enough sneak, i.e. you can steal from people, you'll be able to get the Peacekeeper easy peasy. It's a really good shotgun. If you don't have the sneak skills equipped though, enough of a level, you've got to be level 40 to get the bonus, this is going to be a lot harder to get hold of. Also, it matters exactly when you're going to get this weapon. If you've done it after the main big quest line in Edgewater, turning on the power, you may not have access to get hold of this, even with sneak, because there's too many guards and people around. As soon as you try to do it later on, it will just cause a load of confusion and mayhem. So you've got to do it early on in the game when Constable Raze is inside her office. If you're super quick, you may be able to pickpocket it and then just face a bribe from any of the onlookers looking at you, but I wasn't quick enough and so when I tried it a second time, everyone went for me. Bear in mind as well that you also need to have the full base stats up for this, unless you've got any armour that gives you pickpocketing skill more. Eating or drinking any consumables that give you buffs won't work, you still need to be level 40 for the bonus. Of course you can just go ahead and kill her and maybe take on the whole town but that, again that is going to be pretty dodgy and you'll be lucky to survive. Maybe doing something like this at the very end once you've completed all the missions but remember you will be coming back to Terra 2 the planet even if it's a different area it may not go well for you killing all the inhabitants of the nearest colony. It's a great shotgun, it's definitely worth doing if you've got the sneak skills, otherwise probably leave this one. Lots of DPS damage, higher than obviously the normal standard sawn off shotguns, and it does do stagger too. Now I have done a separate guide for Old Reliable, but I'm just going to briefly go over it quickly again. In the wastelands, in between the geothermal plant and the community centre, you will find a bunch of these primals, loads of behemoths, you need to take these out. It's quite challenging, they are quite high level, and there's at least 7 to 10 of these creatures guarding what is going to be one of the best LMGs and probably one of the best early gun games you will find. Here's the exact location on the map in the gully, as you can see it's just between the two places I mentioned. Take out all the primals and then just keep going forward. Or if you've got a decent sniper, maybe take them from distance up on top of the ridges that you can see. You'll notice a slight overhang on the left hand side, not a fully cave, there'll be lots of dead bodies guiding you that way. But you're looking out for this body, particularly right by the entrance with Old Reliable, it is an absolutely amazing machine gun. Our world is pretty easy on its base normal setting, so I recommend putting it up to the next difficulty and you'll definitely need some of these guns if doing that. But otherwise, sometimes it does feel like some of these guns maybe aren't as good as they could be. That's why you need to always make sure you put points in them by tinkering with them. It's the only way you can upgrade as you can't add any modifications to rare guns. Next up we got the shock stick. This might be something you only get towards the end of your time on Edgewater. You're going to get it by the landing bay right on the southern tip just where the green marker is. This is where you're going to find the NPC that's going to give you the mission. Lugwig is one of the NPCs from an earlier mission if you picked up the graveside quest where you're trying to get the grave fees. So it shouldn't be too hard to find him. He'll give you a quest to go back to the geothermal plant or if you've not been there before, there's a specific dead body that's got a key card that'll open up a room in that area and you'll be able to get the shock baton that way. Again, it can be a little bit tough to spot, but it's the main control room that you need to access to turn the power on and off. But that body is really hard to miss hiding behind that table. Head for the exit out and on the right hand side you'll come across the room that you couldn't get into earlier and now you've unlocked the shock stick. You just need to go back to Ludwig now and he'll give you the shock stick and as well as some XP obviously for completing the mission and maybe some other rewards. Take a look in your inventory afterwards and you will see the shock stick. 151 DPS and stun damage, put a couple of modifications on this bad boy and it's going to be the best one handed melee weapon you'll find for at least the first maybe world two worlds. It also looks really cool as well, I love the fact that it sparkles at the end. 
We've got another melee weapon now and it's Maxwell's hammer. Basically, he will sell this to you for 4,000 units. You'll find him in Edgewater Town. Go to his merchant store and pick it up. The hammer does do 63 damage, 153 DPS and knockdown status effects. But honestly, that's a hell of a lot of units, especially early game that you just may not have. I didn't test this one out to see if you kill him, you'll be able to pick it up. Again, it may not be worth all the trouble as there's definitely much better melee weapons we're going to come across even more later on in the next world. The next one is the merchant in the botanical region or settlement. Go over to him here and he will sell you the revolver. Are you hungry? It's called 5i, it does 175 DPS and it does do knockback damage as well. So definitely maybe a little bit better than some of the other stuff you've been seeing, but maybe not worth 2,800 units. Next up, we're back at the geothermal plant and we're actually gonna be going through and heading up to the mountain range here. There's a small settlement that's got some enemies and a mechazoid that you're gonna to need to take out, but there's also a pathway on the right. That leads up to a small cave where there's some marauders and this is where you're gonna find blad on a stick. I'm going to walk through this one a little bit more because it can be a little bit more tougher but there's the path keep going up here and now stick to the left hand side and you should see some marauders outside now i've already done this before in a previous recording but the enemies do respawn you just won't necessarily get the special weapons again so as soon as you start seeing dead bodies you should see a few of them outside anyway or at least the live ones take them out inside the cave you will find the blood on the stick they're not particularly tough. There are a few of the feral sort of animal dogs there as well to take out. It shouldn't be too much of an issue taking them out, even early game. Once inside, check all the bodies and one of them will have the blood on a stick. There's also a bunch of other consumable items here scattered around on the floor, not just inside the body. So make sure you pick these up too. It is a two-handed melee weapon. It's going to do damage of 47 and it's got good DPM and DPS markers. And of course it does do bleed as a status effect as well. This will be part of a mission from Constable Rays, so don't necessarily go searching it out just on its own. Make sure you pick up the mission to hunt down some bounties. So there we go, three melee weapons and three guns. Very much very special guns, particularly the shotgun and the LMG, which I still will repeat is the best gun early on game. And just as a little bonus, buy the landing pads, keep going past onto the beachfront and you will find a wreck of a ship in the water. Go up to it and you should see a yellow chest. In here as a bonus is a modification kit that's going to give you 20 kg extra carry weight. So it's really useful but it's really tucked away so I thought I might as well chuck it in on this video. I have to say I didn't find too many special armor pieces but you can get them as we start progressing through the rest of the game. If there's anything I've missed, any weapons or any really good mods, let me know. If there's anything I've missed at all, please do so and I'll try and add it to a future video or at least update the comment section with this one. But as far as I know, that is all the rare weapons in Edgewater the first time you visit Terra 2. I'm really enjoying Outer Worlds. I hope you guys have enjoyed the guides I've been doing. Go and check the rest of them out. And if you want to see me play this game more, go and check me out on Mixer. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you ratbags later.